As you can see, the centre of a convex mirror bulges outwards. When we look into it, we can see a wide field of view we can see all around. The image that we see in it looks as if it's behind the mirror. If it's behind the mirror, it can't really be behind the mirror, so it must be a virtual image, an image that is not really exactly where it seems to be. Looking down on the mirror fixed to the wall, we've got a laser pen pointing towards it against a black background. Switching off the lights and blowing some white talcum powder towards the beam, the light is reflected outwards, it is diverged. When the beam is aimed towards the centre of the mirror, it's reflected back, or more or less back, along its path. I probably haven't held the pen absolutely straight. Aimed at the top edge of the mirror, as you can see on your screen, the light is again deflected outwards. It is diverged away from the centre of the mirror. Reproduced on a simple diagram, three laser pens with three red rays of light. Aimed towards a convex mirror, which is black, with a white dotted line simply marking the centre line down the diagram. The green dot marks the centre of the sphere of which the mirror is part. It is called the centre of curvature. This means then that any line drawn from the centre to the mirror, as I've got here, the two white dotted lines, are radii and meet the surface of the mirror at right angles. The ray reflecting from the mirror surface obeys the first law of reflection, which is that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, as you can see marked on the diagram. And the same is true for the ray on the other side of the mirror. The laser light travelling down the centre meets the mirror at right angles, so it's reflected straight back along its own path. Looking into the mirror from behind the source of light, the rays are reflected. They seem to be coming from a point behind the mirror. That point, also marked with a green dot, is the focal point. So parallel light reflected from the mirror is reflected away and appears always to be coming from the focal point. The focal point is exactly halfway between the centre of curvature and the mirror. It appears to be coming from there, but of course it's not really. The light doesn't get behind the mirror. So the focal point is a virtual point, an imaginary point, where the light seems to be coming from. Moving on to ray diagrams drawn on graph paper. Well, graph paper is always the best material because it's easy to get the scales right. So we'll represent the mirror, mark the centre of curvature. Shading the back of the mirror so that it's obvious that it's a convex mirror. We'll draw in an object in front of the mirror, some distance away from it, further, for example, than the centre of curvature is behind. Marking the focal point halfway between the centre of curvature and the mirror. We'll first draw in a ray of light from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis, striking the mirror. It will reflect off as if it is coming from the focal point, obeying the law of reflection, the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection being the same. Although we don't really need it, I will draw in another ray from the top of the object, striking the centre of the mirror. This will again reflect at an equal angle, so it will reflect on the diagram downwards, obeying the law of reflection, and will trace the point behind the mirror from where it seems to come. I'll draw in a third and final ray of light from the top of the object going towards the centre of curvature. That means it meets the mirror surface at right angles and will reflect straight back along its own path. Again, 
that seems to be coming from behind the mirror, intersecting with the other two points. This marks the top of the image. You can see that the image is behind the mirror. Now the light can't be behind the mirror, so it's an image that seems to be there. It is a virtual image. The base of the image will be on the principal axis, beyond that centre line. So it's a virtual image, it is diminished, it is smaller, and it is upright. And those qualities, you'll remember, are exactly what we saw when we used the camera to look in the mirror and move it towards us. The image is smaller, it's behind the mirror, it's virtual, and it's the right way up. Thank you for watching.